Hey, if you're like me, you probably enjoy a good beer now and then. And here on the west side of Michigan, I'm lucky enough to be surrounded by some of the best microbreweries in the state, actually in the country. They make some great beers. And nothing I like better than going in and having a nice pint, or maybe two. But then you want to take some beer home. How do you do it? Well, they have half-gallon jars. They're called growlers. And they'll put the, you'll take the growler over to the bartender and they'll fill it up, cap it off, and you can take it home. The problem is you really don't want this growler rolling around in your car. And it's kind of hard to carry, especially if you get two of them. I know it's got a loop, but here in Michigan it gets cold, and if you're wearing gloves, you have a hard time getting your finger in there. One other issue with growlers, and again with craft beers, there's a very fine sediment that sometimes will collect on the bottom. You might get a little bit of haze in the jar, and that doesn't look good. And it doesn't taste good either. So I wanted to be able to drain my growler. So what I did was I created a growler carrier. Beer, especially craft beer, is a very organic process, so I wanted my carrier to look organic. I took some of the gnarliest wood I could find, came up with this design. I mean, I spent months trying to figure out what's the simplest way to do this that's going to do what I want, and this is what I came up with. I take the wood, stain it. As I said, I get some pretty gnarly wood, kind of fit in with the organics of the beer. The three vertical boards generally come from the same plank, so you'll notice the same grain patterns in those. Each carrier is different. In this particular one, I've got nine screws holding this side, nine on the other, two on each end, and three on the bottom. That's a total of 25 wood screws plus glue. Now, not every carrier has screws, but they'll all have either screws, nails, dowels. This particular one, again, has been screwed, and they've been plugged with wood that's been taken from part of the wood that was cut off. I actually drilled plugs to put into this particular carrier. You remember I mentioned about the draining, the growler, what a problem that could be? Well, on the bottom of the carrier, there are two holes. So after you've done washing your growler, dump the water out, there's always that little bit of water left in there. You can just take it, put it in upside down, and let it drain out overnight. That last, those last few drips. Now the carrier is flush all the way around because if you put your growler carrier out in the garage, if you happen to get a mouse or something like that, you don't want it getting up into your carrier or into your growler. So it's flush all the way around. It's got a nice arc in the top so it feels good in your hand. The cutout, again, has been smooth and it's big enough so you can get your hand in there even with gloves on. Each one is different but they're all basically like this. If you'll check the photos, you'll see exactly what your carrier is going to look like. The way it was built, if it was nailed, uh, and, and filled or if it was screwed and, and, and plugged. Uh, if you don't see anything, then it was doweled. But I can assure you, each one has been built to easily carry two full growlers. I've had people look at this and let me tell you, they, they all say, man, that puppy is overbuilt. And when you go into your local brew pub and you carry this thing in, heads are going to turn. People are going to ask, where did you get that? That is so sweet. And I hope you buy one.